Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'm bringing you part two of the mystery bag unbagging. Uh, so if you didn't watch my previous video, I picked up a whole bunch of free bags of clothing from a man who was just giving it away. Uh, he basically purchased um, estates in the past and he had all this inventory and he's going to be moving. So he just wanted to get rid of it and start fresh. So everything was free. And if I can resell it, that's what I'm going to do. If I can't, then it's going to be donated. So let's just start opening them. This is a, this is a smaller bag right here. It looks like some men's stuff. All right, so this is a Nautica short sleeve shirt. Looks like it's in looks like it's in good condition. Alrighty, what do we have here? Here we here we have a um, like a Joseph. Is that Joseph? Joss Bank. Joseph Bank. I don't know. Is that Joseph? What is that short for? But I mean, I know the brand. I just don't. Here's another one. I just don't know if that's like short for something. This is like a another short sleeve. Looks like good condition. Okay. Here we have a uh, hair in my mouth. A uh, pocket t shirt. And listen, guys, this stuff was, uh, I know my previous video, people are like, well, you know, you should be wearing a mask and gloves and whatnot, but you know what? This stuff has been in these bags for like ever, I'm pretty sure, or for a long time. Uh, and I'm just not, I'm not really concerned. And now this particular stuff has been sitting here um, for about four days in my, in my garage. So, all right, anyhow, pink pocket t-shirt looks vintage it's just plain so there's a pink one and this looks like the same it is it's a blue one same thing and what do we have here a pair of men's pants again the joseph bank brand And looks like we have another pair, another pair of khakis, same thing. Okay, so that's all that's in that bag. That stuff looks okay. All right, let's see what we have in this, in this one. Ooh. Hmm. All right, this looks like a, I don't know, like a handmade, like, bonnet type thing it looks pretty large though i mean it looks really large it's definitely like hand sewn i don't know i mean i guess i could try maybe to sell that i don't know will someone buy that i'm not sure all right what is this oh this just looks like maybe like a like a little baby blanket that's kind of nice nice crocheted maybe it's knitted I don't know the difference uh here we have F.A. Chata this is a skirt definitely looks like an 80s print although I don't know I mean I can I'll think about this one I'm not sure I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, here we have a pair of Dockers corduroys. Look pretty worn. They're going to go in the donation pile. And then we have, what do we have here? Alfred Dunner. This is a skirt. And yeah, that one, that's going in the donation pile. This is a very stained yellowed jacket that's going in the pile 
This looks like another Alfred Dunner. Nope. This is Blair. So pretty much the same thing. That's going in a donation pile. Here we have an unbranded white long yellowed type thing that's going in the pile. Then we have another Alfred Dunner skirt. I just, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with those. I, I kept a couple of the, the tops because I think they might sell, but I'm not messing with those, with those ooh, skirts. What is this? This is like, this looks like some kind of a handmade top. but it is extremely dirty on the inside. That's, that's, that's out of here. All right, here we have a Petite by R and K. This is extremely stained around the collar and discolored and every, yeah, ugh, nope. Okay, so this, this bag's not looking too good. I'll tell you that much. All right, we have the wardrobe builder by Petite Concepts. Nope. This looks like a sewing project that was never finished. There's like pins in there and everything. Unbranded, definitely like a handmade type thing. Right, this bag. This bag is horrible the villager this has a union label this is a vintage looks like it might be wool a wool skirt um dry clean only looks like it was dry cleaned 30 percent wool no 80 percent wool. i was trying to read it upside down 80 percent wool 20 percent polyester the villager. I just feel like that's not going to do well. I just really feel like it won't. All right, here we have a scarf. I don't see any, I don't see any labels or anything. It's probably just I don't know. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. Here we have another. This is full of all these skirts. And none of them are good. Alright, here we have another skirt. Looks handmade. And here we have a belt that feels terrible. Okay, I'm about to give up. Sag Harbor. Ooh, gosh. Alright. I don't even know if I can keep, like, I really don't like this, this bag. I don't know if I can keep going through this. All right, here's another one of those villager skirts. I can't. I can't. You, you know what? Even that other one. Oh, I did throw it in the donation pile. Okay, good. Okay, here we have, what is this? Leslie Fay Petite, size 12. This is a vintage floral dress i don't know i feel like i've heard of that name before i might i don't know i really don't have any interest in that ugly dress to be honest with you um okay there's another skirt there's another skirt another alfred dunner that's a hound's tooth um Okay, we're just going to say we're finished with that bag. That is all getting bags back up. That one was horrible. On to the next. It's a nice sunny day. I'm going to probably take that over to the clothing drop when I'm done filming this. Donation bins. All right, what have we here? I still have things to list. So this stuff is not gonna be on my priority list right now. I will tell you that much. All right, so this is like, I don't think there's a brand in here or a size. This is kind of a 
cute vintage skirt, but it does not look branded or sized. I don't know. I don't see anything. I can probably measure and get an idea. Oh wait, here we go, here we go. Here's a size, it's a size 14. Okay, so that, that will keep. Uh, here we have decked out. Decked out, size large. So this is totally vintage, look at this. This is like totally vintage, right? Like 80s? I think that's a men's. That would be a men's, right? We'll keep that and see how that does. Looks like this is another one. But this one is... This one's white and definitely has some yellowing. Um, maybe I'll try to soak that in some OxyClean. I do have OxyClean. I picked some up the other day because I couldn't find bleach in the grocery store. So I'm like... Oh, look, here we go. Here's another one, another all decked out. All right, I'll try those. This is a Windsor shirt, but it's very gross. Um, here's some basic pants. Country Suburbans. Are they linen? Made in the USA. Uh, it doesn't say, but these have the union label as well. Um, I'm not real sure that there's a market for these kind of pants. All right, then we have Amy Deb. Amy Deb. This is kind of an interesting top, definitely vintage. I don't know if you can see, but it's got, um, it's got like this deep V, but it's also got this ooh, fabric underneath. Here's the, the tag, Amy Deb. And then it's got like, like a sweatshirt kind of cuff to it and bottom. I don't know, I mean, that's kind of neat. I might. See if I can sell that one. Definitely vintage. Oh, does it have a skirt with it? Well, I believe it does. It's a skirt set. Hmm. I'm trying to see what this says. Size 14. This looks like the other skirt as well, like the same style. So maybe there's another. Maybe there's another top in here. Oh yeah, I bet this is it. Nope, never mind. This is a dress, I think. Machine wash and the tag is kind of weird. So this is definitely a vintage dress. Unfortunately, the size looks like it's gone. Polka dots. I don't know. Might try that. I'm curious to see if there's another top in here now. Okay, here is a Judy Bond top. It looks like it's in nice condition. I've never heard of Judy Bond. It's polyester. Made in the USA. All right, here we have Knight's Sportswear. It doesn't look like anything exciting. Uh, let's see, what is this? Knight's Bridge. Nope. All right, here we have a jacket. American Venture. Never heard of that. The inside is kind of cool. Check that out. I really like that fabric. I like that print. Here is, no, not there. Here it is. Here is the label. It looks like it's got a little, uh, little something going on back here at the, uh, where it splits. I don't know, but I will look that brand up. 
feels like it's like polyester. I'll look it up. All right, here we have a Hagar Magic Stretch. No. No, thank you. Ooh. This is Tops and Tops, Miami. This is kind of cool. It's definitely vintage. I'm trying to get this collar in here. I hate when they made those collars like that with the with like the extra fabric that folds out so easily and you have to like tuck it back in. I'm glad they don't do that anymore. But check this out. It's actually still white, believe it or not, I think. But it's got the fish with this little fishnet kind of thing. Kind of a neat vintage top. I'm digging that. All right, this is, what is this? Sag Harbor. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that one. All right, then we have, this is probably another. No, this is Norton McNaughton. No. Alfred Dunner, nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Here we have, looks like a t-shirt. Island Beauty. Ugh, it's funky. That one is funky. Here we have some pants. Just kind of um, rust. Mm, no. Some more of these random pieces of fabric. I saw that in the other thing. Leaky Leaky, Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, and it's it still has stretch. We haven't had any of the ripping things. So it still has stretch. With the little Honolulu thing down here, just like a terry cloth. I mean, it's definitely worn, size large, but we'll we'll see. See if I can do anything with that. Here's some more pants, probably Hagar. No, 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 I don't want you. And what do we have here? Last pair is Towncraft. Yeah. So that's going to get bagged back up as well. Mm. Got my Duncan. It's the one little normalcy I've had. I, when I do have to go out, I will grab. I will grab coffee. Uh, anyhow. On to the next bag. Let's see what we have here. All right, this is a little sparkly around the edges. I like that. Grace Elements. And it is 100% linen and it's a 2X. So this bad boy is a winner. Yes, it is. Okay, this bag is starting off okay. I mean, Grace Elements isn't like a crazy good brand or anything, but it's definitely a lot better than what I've been dealing with. Jones, New York, nah, we're gonna pass on that. Okay, here we have a jacket, looks like a trench, a trench coat. See if I can find a brand on it. Looks like it's missing the zippered, the zippered lining is out of it. Uh, let's see here, 10 Petite, but I do not see a brand. Oh, the collar is gross. That is going in the donation pile. All right, here we have a quilted, looks like a homemade job, just like some of the other stuff. That's, and that's getting donated. What do we have here? Jones, New York, 14, 14 women, kind of like a, circle skirt type thing. This honestly is not in bad condition, so I will keep that one. Okay, what is this? I like this print. August Silk 1X. Hmm. 
What do you think about that? I don't know. It's probably not the most attractive thing to wear, but maybe someone will want it. I don't know. It's definitely kind of like a vintage looking set. Uh, and then we have this crazy print, Diane Roberts. It's got a union label on it. I mean, I'm kind of feeling this. Size 18H. What is 18H? Okay, so check it out. First of all, check that, uh, check that print out. It's got like this flap right here. So yeah, we'll give that a shot. That's kind of cool. Alrighty. Then we have another, oh, this is AB Studio. Hmm. Uh, here we have Charter Club. Pants, not thrilled about those. Another string, another random string. This looks like it goes with the Charter Club something. All right, let's see here. Let's keep, oh, what do we have here? Adele Martin, India 100% silk. Uh, it's definitely got issues. Definitely got issues. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you see that? Like, it's all frayed. I don't know if it was supposed to be that way. I don't know. What do you guys think about this Adele Martin? Oh, looks like it has... Oh. That's, that's what the issue is. Someone cut the sleeves off. But they left them with the with the dress. We're just gonna get rid of that. Actually, I gotta pull this out. That went with it. Okay. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Lady Hazan. <laughs> okay. No thank you. No thank you. This is a Jones jeans, 100% wool. It's like this boiled wool. Ooh, I do not like the feeling of that. That's. Uh uh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, here we have a Lauren, Ralph Lauren 2X red sweater. It's got like these shoulder pads. I mean, this isn't bad. This isn't, It's. it looks like it's in pretty good condition. So, hold on to that. Oh, this is, um... This is another boiled wool kind of piece, and it, it is definitely pilly and everything else, and I'm just not feeling it. Let's see then. What else do we have? More, more Jones New York skirts, and who is this guy? Jenny Buchanan pants. So... Hmm. Okay, this, this is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. So I'm going to do one more bag and then I will finish the next another day in another video. I think I will have three or four bags left after this one. I'm trying to open this so I can just refill the bag and not rip it. It's really nice out today and I think it's supposed to rain for the next couple days. So after I finish this up, I might try to do a little bit of yard work. I might try to take a couple of walks and just get outdoors while I can. It definitely lifts the spirits, that's for sure. What are you guys doing? Are you guys trying to get outdoors and whatnot? Let me know, drop it in the comments below. Okay, so here we have a pair of Ann Taylor Loft like a pinstripe pair of pants. They're very stained. They're, they're going. J. Jill stretch. These look like crop, but they look, I don't know. 
All right, here we have another pair of J Jill size medium. These are like a linen, like very wide trouser leg. We'll we'll try to wash those up and see. Oh boy, uh, Kato. Kato pants size six. They are a linen blend, so I honestly, they have like a medallion print. I honestly might try these out. I normally like don't ever pick up that brand or anything, but linen usually sells okay. So I'm just gonna try them for that point. Here's another Ann Taylor. I'm not keeping those, they are stained. Uh, Ralph Lauren Active like a cargo pant but they're just like really worn looking uh here we have some men's white or should i say yellowed dress shirts so we're not even digging through those like i honestly am not i'm not uh okay here we have a j jill genuine fit at waist pair of um like gray work pants. We'll give those a shot. Uh, more J. Jill in here. These are definitely, these are faded. Like really, they really look worn. So I'm not going to waste my time with those. Couture collection. This is like a men's. Um... society brand made for field brothers so i mean it's green it's got some fancy buttons and i'll tell you again i am loving the inside print like i am loving i'm loving that lining i wonder if it's got the size inside because that's one thing i'm not loving about jackets i cannot stand when i have to Oh, it's got the union label. I can't stand when I have to measure, but I'm gonna have to measure this one because the, the size tag is blank. But it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool looking. All right, here we have another pair of Ralph Lauren. These are corduroys, size six. I'm just not really, I'm not really sure. I don't know, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence if I want to try to sell those or not. I don't want to fill up my store with too much junk. Epstein's, the men's store. That kind of smells bad. Wow, what are these? Okay, these are some kind of... Something bored Princeton? I mean, these are definitely like dirty. They're really cool though. Check out those pants. <laughs> they stink. Honestly, they stink. Okay, here's another scarf. Oh boy. All right, here we have, oh, what is this? Austin Hill, says so 14. No, I'm like, I'm already over this bag of stuff here. All right, what is this? This looks like suede. This is uh, another Field Brothers D. Baletti. Steam lightly treat as cashmere or other fine fabric, but what is it? Dry clean commercially? I'm trying to see it's got the union label in it again i don't know i don't know the fabric it almost feels like suede i mean it's got like a weird smell to it i don't know i'm gonna look that brand up and then at the bottom of this bag it's just like some white white pants these actually still have the tags but 
their Banana Republic, City Chino, size six. Um, but I just don't know. Ankle length, I just, I don't know. They, um, they would definitely need to be washed and that means I'd have to take the tags off. Then they wouldn't be new anymore. All right, here we go. Last thing we have styled by Tomorrow's Dream, size 38. What is a size 38? This is a women's top, definitely vintage. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a market for that one, but maybe I'll throw some of this stuff up on Etsy. I'm not really sure, but like I said, this stuff is not gonna be my main priority until everything else is pretty much gone and listed, and I really still have a lot to, to do anyway. But this was kind of fun. Um, hopefully round three will be better than round two. Like I said, I still have three or four bags to go through. This was definitely a bust. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Drop it in the comments below. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time. Bye.